Okay, we're going to take a look at some methods. The first one we're going to look at is the length method. And so we'll get our pointer set up. Uh, the length method is one of the string methods that we're going to, going to cover. And the length method returns an int value equal to the number of characters in the string. So characters, as you can see here, the, the questions are here, well, how many characters are in each of the following strings? Remember, a string is between quotation marks. And so there would be five. One, two, three, four, and five. In the next one, there are, there's one, two, three, four, five, sp the space is six, seven, eight, and nine. So this has nine characters inside this string. And so the length method will automatically calculate the number of characters in that string. In the last one, um, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, and the question mark is 13. Every character between the quotation marks is counted, and that includes spaces and punctuation marks. Here's a length method template. Uh, so you have a variable, so it declares this string, and here's your whatever the string value is. And so when you use the length method, you have the variable first, and then the dot, and then length, and then the empty parentheses. And this will produce um, the number. It will count the number of characters in that variable. So an example is you have a variable called cat. The value is fluffy. So if you type System.out.println, cat.length, and uh, the parentheses, it will print a 6 because it counts the number of characters in the cat variable. So it counts them right here and gets 6 characters, and that's what it will return as a 6. The next slide I'm going to go through um, uses these reminders about print and println. So this, is, of course, is on your handout. And so uh, we need to make sure we know what, a, what the print does compared to the println, and then the escape character, what that means. So that's important to take a look at that as we go on to the next slide. So. In this, we're practicing using the length method. So you have these strings here, uh, string cat, dog variable, brother variable. And right now, what we can do, because we're going to be seeing what the length method does, we're going to count the characters. So you have princess, you have p 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So there's eight characters in here. And then rover has five. And then Jonathan, if we count that, including the spaces, it is 13. So this num1 is assigned dog.length. It's assigned a value because a length method returns a value, a number. And dog, the length of the dog variable is 5. So the, very, the va value of num1 is 5. Num2 is the length of the brother variable, which is 13, minus num1, which is num1, the val value of that is 5. So the value of num2 is really 8. So num2 in its memory location has an 8, num1 has a 5. So we're going to start printing now. We print 1 num1 and the value of 1, num1 is 5, so it's going to print a 5. Now, actually, what we need to do is we've got to have, pretend we have a screen. 
And that's not going to work either. We'll start here. So 5. The next line is uh, print ln, and that's num2. And num2 is the value you said was 8. So right on the next line, straight down below the 5, is 8. So we've done this and this. The next line down says cat.length. Well, the value of, or the number of characters in the cat variable is 8. And um, plus the, va the value of num1 is 5. So this treats this as an addition problem. And so that's 13. So it's going to print a 13 right below it. The next one down says print new number. So we're going to print new number. And I'm just going to get it started here. So we're not going to write down the whole thing. So it goes new number. And then it's going to print a value. So it says um, plus cat length plus num1. Now, here's what happens. Because we have a literal string, then all the plus signs are are for concatenation. Up here, there was no there was no literal string, so this was not concatenation. It was addition. So, and I can't write very well here. And but here, since we have literal string then everything is considered being joined to it. And so cat length is 8. Num1 is 5. So instead of adding them, it concatenates them. It joins them. So this really says new number colon 85. On the next line down, um, it it says new number again, so we have another literal string. So now it's going to treat the plus signs as concatenation again. However, the difference in this problem is, so here's your concatenation. And so what's going to be joined to this, it, now it has a parenthesis. And that changes everything. So now within the parentheses, this is going to be considered now a calculation problem. So this becomes addition because there is a literal string. So this now becomes an arithmetic. And so this is 8 plus 5. So it's 13 now. OK, the next line says is system.println. That's a blank line. So that, that means we're going to have a blank line printing nothing on that line. And then it says ln. So now we're going to be on this line. That's going to how we. That's one way to create a blank line. Then it says to print num1, which is five. But then it says it because it says print instead of print ln, we stay on that line. And so now we go to the next line, and it says to print num2, which is eight. And so that prints on the same line because it didn't say ln. So now it says, because it says ln, now we go to the next line down and I'm ready for the next statement. But in the next statement, you have an escape character. And this here, it means to press Enter or go to the next line down. So we go to the next line down. And this creates a blank line more space between the lines. And then the, the value of brother length, brother dot length, of course, uh, is 13. So the length of uh, the brother variable, of course, is 13. So there you go. So that is what this should look like. All right, let's go to the next thing. And I believe that's it. We'll stop with that.